guys and welcome to another video today I'm going to show you how to set up Domino's action bar add-on right so once you install it and activate your add-on it will show you here the minimap button so when you click it you can see all the bars that you can have so for example here from 1 to 10 9 and 10 you're going to be seeing the bars where you can put your spells, abilities, everything you, you want to put on the, on the bars, all right? On the top, you can see the experience bar, okay? The roll of the dices from an instance is going to be here in the roll bar. The menu from the game is going to be here in the menu bar, okay? The bugs are going to be right here and the vehicle bar is going to be here you can actually move it you just click it, hold it and move it to wherever you want all the bars one of the main features of each bar is going to be here when you right click on the bar you can see all the options that you have for each bar okay so you just go ahead and play with it the size how many columns you want on each bar the spacing between the buttons of the bar the padding is the spacing between the bars okay the scale is just self-explanatory scale of the bar the faded opacity i'm going to explain to you later and the opacity is just the opacity of the bar if you set it up to zero you are not going to see what is inside the bar if you set it up to 100 it's going to be normal okay so If you shift right click on the button of the minimap, you're going to see this menu. So this is going to be useful when you are going to be placing your spells. So you just click on show empty buttons and accept. And you can move around your spells and put it wherever you want. Okay. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. Notice how when I cross right here to this sector of the screen this button appears this is the faded opacity so let me show you guys what I'm talking about when I set up in this bar this is a one size one bar where I kept my mount just for the for the for the tutorial for the example and I have set it up to faded opacity number zero so that means that it's going to be hidden through all the game except when I cross the mouse over the over the bar right so that's the effect when I cross it over the bar it will show so I can just unmount unmount wherever I want so I just cross over the over the action bar and I mount so that's it one another thing that is really really important is the key bindings so to key bind you can just shift click and you can key bind every single button that you have on each bar for example if I want this to be number one or this is already number one by default right one two three two nine zero and everything else but for example I want this to be a so I set up to set it up to a and just click in a and this is set up to eight if I want to unbind the key I just click on escape and that's it you can play with it I strong extremely strongly I'm sorry recommend you to play with it with the add-on because it's really fun and you can actually end up with a really really unique user interface pretty beautiful so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to thumbs up if you like it and see you soon in the next tutorial bye bye